Alfred, Al Walker, Amrado, November 12, 1909, February 21, 2001, also known as Alfred Squalisi, a.k.a. Aino Alvarado, was a New York mobster who became a Cooper regime of the Bonanno crime family and a powerful labor figure at the New York Post distribution plant. Newspaper men born on the Lower East Side, Manhattan to first-generation immigrant Salvatore Ambrado and Mary from Leonforte, Italy Ambrado lived at Knickerbocker Village. On Monroe Street he was married to a woman named Constance and father of three children. One of Ambrado neighbors was his nephew, Anthony Mira, who became a widely feared soldier in the Bonanno family. Ambrado was employed at the New York Post from the 1960s to 1990s as a general foreman for the paper's distribution plant. When real estate owner Peter Colico bought the Post in 1988, his managers noted that Ambrado did no visible work and naively tried to fire him. When word of Ambrado firing spread, the other Post foreman quickly agreed to take a salary cut so that Ambrado could keep his job. In 1990, District Attorney Robert Morgenthau began an extensive investigation of mob control at the New York newspapers, including the Post. Three years later, Ambrado was indicted on charges related to this investigation. Family dissension in the late 1970s, Philip Rastelli became the boss of the Bonanno family, causing a major split in the membership. Philip Giacconi, Dominic Trencara and Alphonse Delicato opposed Rastelli and began plotting his downfall. However, Rastelli heard about the plot and instead arranged an ambush for the three conspirators. On May 5, 1981, the day of the ambush, Rastelli loyalist Dominic Napolitano asked Tamburato to come down to the motion lounge for a sit-down. At the meeting, Napolitano placed two of his sidewalk soldiers next to Ambrado. The mobsters then waited until Napolitano received confirmation that Giacomi, Trickera, and Indelicato were dead. Later describing the meeting to Joseph Di Pistoni, posing as mobster Donnie Brasco, Napolitano said, When he Alfred heard that, he turned ash white. He thought we were going to hit him too. But I just dreamed at him about Tony, told him Tony was no good, and that he Alfred better recognize that and act right himself. Ambrado agreed. Donnie Brasco in mid-1981, when Pistoni was revealed as an FBI agent, Sonny Black, Napolitano, Lefty, Ruggiero, and Mira were all on the firing line for initially allowing the infiltration. Mira went into hiding. Joseph Mazzano ordered Ambrado and Mira's two cousins Joseph D. Amico and Richard Cantarella. On February 18, 1982, D. Amico lured him to a parking garage in Lower Manhattan. Ambrado and Cantarella were waiting in a getaway car. The pair went to the parking garage, climbed into Mira's car, and drove up to a locked security gate. D'Amico would later describe in a testimony, he took out his key, put it in the box, but he didn't get a chance to turn the box, I shot him at close range several times on the side of his head. In 1988, Ambrado was indicted along with other Bonanno leaders in a racketeer-influenced and corrupt organizations act case. Death on February 21, 2001, Alfred Ambrado died of natural causes. Notes References Further reading Rob Selwyn Five Families The Rise, Decline, and Resurgence of America's Most Powerful Mafia Empires New York, St. Martin's Press, 2005 ISBN 0-312-30094-8 Pistoni, Joseph D. and Woodley, Richard Donnie Brasco, My Undercover Life in the Mafia Random House 1990 ISBN 5-552-53129-9 United States Congress. Organized Crime. USGPO, 1988-1255 pages. Mafia. The Government's Secret File on Organized Crime. External Links United States of America vs. Embarado The Village Voice .com. The Newspaper Racket. Tough Guys and Wise Guys in the Truck Drivers Union by Tom Robbins